Good morning. Thank you for watching. Another beautiful Lord's Day. Looks like it's cooled off a little bit. Uh, I know everybody's glad of that. Uh, we'll get on our sick list this morning. We got Ronnie Robinson, uh, Ashlyn Hare, Becky and Lonnie Bark, Joella King, Doyle Duke, Bruce Lewis, Steve Comer, Kathy Smith, Lee Heath, Carter Brown, Naomi Blair, Luana Peeler, Benny Blair, Steve Melbourne, and Judy Melbourne, uh, Taylor Blanton. Uh, Sharon Armstrong, Buddy Davenport, uh, Jason Morris, Pam Brown, Thomas Bogle, and uh, we need to send sympathy to the family of Russell Morton uh, and uh, Miss Nada Heatherly. Miss Nada used to be, uh, uh, go, we went to church with her and we were neighbors with her for years and years and years and, and what a fine lady she was. And uh, uh, please pray for her family uh, in the loss of Sister Nada. She was a lovely woman. Uh, this morning, I've got a little uh, article here I found somewhere. Uh, uh, I don't remember, but it's a, it's a good one. Uh, and it kind of reminds us of the things that we need to be doing. So uh, we'll get started here. And it says, my friend, I stand in judgment now and I feel that you're to blame somehow. On earth, I walked with you day by day and never did you point the way. You knew the Lord in truth and glory, but never did you tell me that old, old story. My knowledge then was very dim. You could have led me safely to him. And though we lived together on earth, you never told me of the second birth. And now I stand this day condemned. Uh, because you failed to mention him. You taught me many things that were true. I called you friend and I trusted you, but I learned now that it's all too late and you could have kept me from the hell and, and of my fate. We walked by day and talked by night and you showed me uh, not the light. You let me live, love and die and knew I would never live on high. I called you my friend in life. I trusted you through joy and strife. And now coming to this horrible end, could I now call you my friend? So the thing is that we all probably know somebody that's in danger here. And I challenge you uh, to make a move on that person and uh, uh, tell them about Jesus Christ and try to save them from the awful fate that they're going to meet if they don't know him. Uh, that's something that we all need to do. Uh, we all need to get ourselves ready uh, for heaven and uh, we need to take everybody we can with us. We need to make sure we do that. It tells us in the Bible to do that. And uh, we need to do that. So keep that in mind as you go through your week. Uh, you know, we could spend our time uh, a little more wisely, I'm sure. I know I can. And, uh, you know, helping somebody or doing, uh, uh, you know, something that would change somebody's mind about uh, becoming a Christian. Uh, anything that we can do on that order, uh, it will surely make a difference. Uh, we want to make sure we can take everybody we, we can. Uh, so that's that's the end of my little lesson here today. I hope you get something out of that. Um, please keep all of our first responders and your doctors and nurses and uh, uh, all our military men and women. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of danger in the world right now. Uh, and, you know, we've also got the storm victims over there in uh, East Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, uh, Florida, you know, all, all the folks uh, that were impacted. It's still a bad thing going on over there. Seems like they can't get help, and uh, uh, it's, just, it's just a bad deal. Uh, please remember all of those that lost loved ones. I heard... Uh, a uh, friend of mine at work, his uh, uncle lost his whole farm. Uh, it's just gone. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of people lost everything they had. Uh, and, and they got nowhere to go. That's the bad thing. 
So please keep all these folks in your prayers. They really need it. Uh, that's the end of it. God bless. Thank you for watching. See you next time.